Hello Aquarius, welcome to another love reading. This is gonna be a you and them love reading. How do you feel about each other? What are the energies between you and what's going on in your connection? We're gonna be looking at all of that today. As always, this is meant to be a general love reading, so it will not resonate with every Aries watching. So just take what resonates for you, for your situation, leave the rest. You can also check out your other placements, your moon, your rising sign, or any other sign of significance. Um, I have all of the playlists for each sign linked in the description box if you want to check that out and see if you have any other messages. So let's jump right in. For Aquarius, angels, guides, what messages, guidance do you have for Aquarius regarding love? This reading will be for those of you that are already in some sort of a connection or you have someone in mind for Aquarius. Okay, let's look at what's going on in your connection first. Spirit, what can you tell us about the energies in the connection between Aquarius and this other person that they are dealing with or thinking about at this time? What are the energies in the connection at this time? What's going on for Aquarius in love? Okay, we have the Hermit, Virgo energy. So someone could be distant here, or at least feels far away. Um, someone could be um, thoughtful, thinking a lot on their own. Four of Wands reverse. So maybe they're thinking about a situation that's not very balanced or harmonious at this time. There could be um, a disconnect happening between you and another person. It could be regarding home life. It could be happening in your home. Maybe there have been um, fights recently, disagreements. What else do we need to know for Aquarius? What's going on for them in love? Eight of Cups reverse. Oh, okay. Interesting. Bottom of the deck, we have the world. Cycles ending and cycles beginning. Um, hmm. Now that I see the Eight of Cups reverse, I'm wondering if, if this connection, if there was already a separation here. Someone that might have already walked away. Can get some clarity, please? Ah. Oh, no. I went traveling for work, so I haven't been filming uh, the last couple of days. But while I was traveling, I broke my nail or one of my nails. Um... It's not completely like uh, detached the dip powder, but it is broken. So don't mind me if I'm like <laughs> squealing through this video randomly. Okay. It doesn't hurt. It's just uncomfortable. Okay. So let's see what's going on here. Let's start with this um, four of wands reverse because I feel like that's why everything is happening here. Spirit, what is this Four of Wands reverse about? What happened here with this Four of Wands reverse? Nine of Pentacles. Okay. Can you can I get one more for this Four of Wands reverse? What's going on here? Ace of Swords. I feel like someone... Um, yeah, there's a five of wands. It's almost like um, there could have been a disagreement or some sort of conflict and someone uh, separated themselves. Or maybe you're taking some time apart. I feel like this was a conversation that went badly or something that came out in a conversation or possibly online because the Ace of Swords sometimes for me could be like, you know, information. Uh, not, not necessarily like speaking, but information that's exchanged or that you see or figure out. Um, okay, so something happened between you and this person for the Aquarius that I'm reading today. And with this Nine of Pentacles, the Nine of Pentacles is a card about being single, um, independent, free. And the Hermit is also alone. So these two cards are, it's almost like someone purposefully is alone 
Tell me about the hermit. Why is the hermit here? Why is the hermit here? Seven of Swords. Hmm. Can I get one more? This could be somebody thinking about mistakes they've made. Or strategizing. So let's see. Can I get one more, please, for the hermit? What do we need to know about the hermit? Oh, the moon. Secrets. Pisces energy. With the, I don't like the moon and the seven of swords together. Nothing good can come out of that. That's not a strategy. That's, that's someone that, I feel like this is someone that is thinking about secrets they kept or mistakes they made. The devil wanted to come out here with the ace of cups. Tell me more about the moon and the seven of swords. Why is the moon with the seven of swords? Why is the moon with the seven of swords? What happened here? <laughs> the hermit, yeah. Okay, and then the high priestess. So definitely, this is somebody that's keeping something to themselves actively or kept something to themselves like in the past and it affected this connection. This is somebody that is all these three cards together is a secret or hiding something, especially with the high priestess at the bottom of the deck. Okay, so it makes sense that maybe this caused problems between you or maybe you figured something out because there's the Ace of Swords here or just a conversation, maybe um, a disagreement happened over the fact that there are secrets or something like that. So why is the Eight of Cups reverse? Why is the Eight of Cups reverse? Four of Cups, Queen of Pentacles, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn energy. You could be dealing with an Earth sign. A lot of Earth here so far, but we'll see. Tell me more about the Eight of Cups reverse. Tell me more about the Eight of Cups reverse. Nine of Cups. I feel like this is somebody that's thinking about um, returning or um, hasn't fully left this connection. But I think this is someone thinking about returning because the Nine of Cups is here. Almost like this is a goal for someone or something that would make someone very happy. Um, but the Queen of Pentacles is here with the Four of Cups. So I'm thinking of someone who maybe is not interested or feels like they're not getting, you know, it, it's almost like an uneven um, situation here because the Four of Cups is someone that's not interested, closed to new opportunities, um, can't see opportunities in front of them, um, closed off energy here. But then the Queen of Pentacles is someone that is like the ideal partner in my mind. They tend to have it all. Um, they are loyal, dependable, successful on their own, great partners, loyal to, you know, friends, family, um, good with money, good with finances, very grounded energy. The, the Queen of Pentacles is not someone that would play around, right? It's someone that you want to settle down with. So I feel like someone's picturing being rejected by a Queen of Pentacles type, type energy. Can I get one more for this Four of Cups? Why is the Four of Cups here? Wow, the Emperor Aries energy. Hmm, and the High Priestess again. It could be that this person's secret, keeping something secret from you about what they want with you. The emperor is not afraid of anything. The emperor, they kind of make things happen for themselves. Um, older, wiser, brave. They handle situations, right? He would not be over here worried about would someone accept his cup? <laughs> 
So I have a feeling that this could be somebody that is trying to avoid rejection and is probably trying to present themselves as an emperor energy. Someone that has it together because that's what this queen of pentacles would want. You know what I mean? Um, but there's still something here that's like not being expressed or kept secret. Uh, it could be that they're not communicating something to you, Aquarius. Okay, so let's see how you're feeling about each other. What's going on between you and this person? What's the deal? All right, can I get some insight into the energies between Aquarius and this other person that they're dealing with, Spirit? Aquarius, I'm going to have you on one side and your person on the other. Feel free to flip the energies if they resonate more for you. Oh my gosh, my card. I haven't even like asked my question yet. <laughs> All right, so tell me about Aquarius. What's the energy that Aquarius is bringing to this connection, Spirit? What's the energy that Aquarius is bringing to this connection? Divine timing. Trust in divine timing, faith, fortune, destiny. Okay, tell me about the person Aquarius is or will be dealing with. What are their energies in this connection? Closed off. Yeah, they're the ones that are closed off. They could be that hermit. Hmm. They're keeping something from you. I just don't know if it's something, you know, I'm trying, I'm starting to question myself if this is something they're keeping from you due to fear or keeping from you because it's bad. Do you know what I mean? I haven't been able to figure this <laughs> that out. Okay, let me say, okay, I'm going to use a secret moon oracle just to get some insight into thoughts, feelings here between you. Spirit, tell me more about Aquarius and this other person. What do you think? Tell me about Aquarius. What is Aquarius thinking, feeling when it comes to this connection? Okay, we got two. I'm ready to commit. I have a choice to make. Okay, so I feel like you were serious in this connection or at least saw potential for commitment. Um, however, you feel like you have a choice to make here and maybe time is of the essence because I have divine timing here. Tell me about the person Aquarius is or will be dealing with. What do we need to know about what they're thinking, feeling when it comes to Aquarius or this connection? I miss you and it's all my fault. Okay, so they there's a reason why they're closed off. I have, I'm struggling at the bottom of the deck here. Um, so this makes sense with everything that I've been seeing so far. Uh, I feel like this person, they've been thinking about their the mistakes or things that they blame themselves for. And that's why they're so closed off or silent or perhaps you block them. I mean, that's also a possibility. Can I get one more please? Okay, if I could shuffle, that would be great. Tell me about Aquarius. One more, please. Spirit, one more energy for Aquarius. What do we need to know about Aquarius? Despair, okay. Tell me about the person that Aquarius, oops, I almost dropped. I don't know what's going on with my deck today. Occupation, okay. Tell me about the person that Aquarius is dealing with or will be dealing with still. What do we need to know about their energy? Message of concern. Okay. When I saw despair here, I feel like you've been hurt by this person. I think this person possibly um, screwed up when it comes to you, this connection, and I feel like you didn't, it, you were definitely affected by what happened. Um, and I feel like it was some sort of conversation or message because I have a message of concern here. Something happened between you that I feel has to do with information. So let's, let's see what we need to know. Tell me about the energies between Aquarius and this other person's spirit. What do we need to know? What do we need to know? This could have happened over text as well, like something like that.
What is going on with my decks today? Okay, tell me about Aquarius. What do we need to know about Aquarius? Their energies in this connection, their energies regarding this other person. What do we need to know about Aquarius? Ace of Pentacles, okay. I feel like you were, um, you maybe you weren't on the same page with this person or there was an opportunity for this to really be a long-term commitment or a commitment with a lot of like potential, right? I think you were giving a lot in this connection as well. Like I feel, I mean, it doesn't have to be a lot, but at least you were giving your best, you know? You were committed, loyal to this person. What else do we need to know about Aquarius? We have temperance here. Wow. And then the devil reverse Capricorn energy. Sagittarius energy with temperance. There's a Ten of Cups again. Um, I think you've been trying to find your balance here with Temperance and the Devil Reverse, almost like breaking free of some sort of an attachment or negative way of thinking or negative behavior. Um, again, I get the sense of like distancing, distancing, distancing yourself from this person which I think was difficult because I think this was a very, um, I, I was gonna say strong connection, but they want me to say important connection. So I don't know what that means. Almost like this was, um, maybe this was a fiance or someone that you were with a long time or the one, who you felt was the one. Let's see, what do we need to know about these energies? Tell me about the devil reverse. I'm curious about that. Why is the devil reverse here? Why is the devil reverse here? What do I need to know about the devil reverse? The Hierophant, Taurus energy. What do we need to know about the devil reverse? Queen of Swords. Yeah, I feel like you, you've you cut something out. Queen of Cups, Justice. Yeah, Libra energy with Justice. But I think this with Queen of Cups and Justice together, I think of someone that's really well-balanced, well-rounded, thought about things from all angles, logically and emotionally. I also think with the Queen of Swords here, emotions played a role but not a big role in this decision or in this situation um, it's almost like you had to put your emotions you considered your emotions but you kind of put them to the side a little bit because there's something here with balance that's very important and i think this has to do with this choice it's like you have to do a difficult choice that was best for you when it came to this connection i don't know what this is about i'm sure um, I'll probably get some comments where people will explain what exactly happened here. But um, I think this is going to be different for all of you. But I think Aquarius, because of what happened with this person, you made a distinctive choice that was liberating in a way. It helped you find your balance again or find your footing again. It could have been regarding a commitment. I don't know what's going on with me today in <laughs> my decks. Um, oh, oops, these are upside down. I have the Hierophant here. Now, at first, when I saw the Hierophant, I thought, you didn't really care what anybody else thought. This wasn't um, something that maybe for a long time or for a while, you kind of did what was expected. But when it came to this situation, I don't think, I think you even broke free of that. The need to appear a certain way or do things a certain way. Tell me about temperance. Tell me about temperance. I don't feel this person's energy here so far. They're not here so far. So this is a decision you made on your own. Tell me about temperance. Three of wands. Yeah, there's something here with timing. Tell me about temperance. Tell me about temperance, please. Four of Cups and the Nine of Wands. There's the Emperor at the bottom of the deck. 
Nine of Wands, Four of Cups, Three of Wands. Well, the Nine of Wands doesn't trust anybody. So if you, I really feel like you are the one that might reject someone's offer or are very guarded. So guarded that it's very hard for you to open up and, you know, kind of give someone the time of day here. I have a feeling that if this person were to come back, which so far I feel like they will, or at least attempt contact again, um, I feel like if they will, you, you're going to be very guarded. You know, and I think it's going to be a while. Like this happens, this doesn't happen right after the big showdown. Like some time passes. But I feel like you, you were already finding your balance here with temperance. Tell me about the Ace of Pentacles. I think this is this is the offer from your person. Tell me about the Ace of Pentacles. What's this Ace of Pentacles about? What do we need to know? Yep, Ten of Cups. What's this Ace of Pentacles about? I feel like this person shows up to give you what you were asking for all along. Two of Wands. And I think this is the choice. This is the choice you would need to make whether to accept this person and get one more for the ace of pentacles yeah and i think you're trying to be smart about this aquarius um some of you could choose a whole different path here uh with the two of wands that has something to do with this person but you're evaluating this offer or whatever this present. And you know, this, this Ace of Pentacles does not have to be a proposal, right? Like it doesn't have to be a promise with depth like that. Sometimes an Ace of Pentacles is an opportunity, right? Something that could potentially happen, right? So this could be somebody that contacts you and you have a conversation that involves the future or something like that. And that could be an ace of pentacles type of situation because it deals with something that could develop in a long-term way right it's not a ten of pentacles but it's it's the start i feel like you're trying to evaluate whether you even want to do that though tell me about the two of wands Tell me about the two of wands. Mm, four of wands. You're thinking about a stable future. I think it's not enough for you that you have a past connection with this person. Um, you could even have a very strong, you know, connection with like maybe like a soulmate connection or something like that. Because I do have the six of cups here. But I don't think this is enough for you, Aquarius, because I'm just picking up this energy of you being at a different stage in your life that's the phrase stage in your life this i'm ready to commit and the the temperance card it's almost like you've done a lot of inner work and got into a certain place where this is what you want and you don't want anything less you don't want to play uh games or have anything casual i mean something like that is kind of what i'm seeing here so let's see where does your person stand when it comes to you this connection can i get some insight please for the person that aquarius is dealing with what do we need to know what do we need to know about this person that aquarius is or will be dealing with spirit what do we need to know about what they're thinking, feeling towards Aquarius? What do we need to know about this person? We have the nine of cups again. Okay. Oops. What do we need to know about this person? That Aquarius is what could be dealing with. The sun. What do we need to know about this person? Very positive energy here, optimistic, hopeful, aiming high, 
that's what I heard. Queen of Cups reverse. Two of Cups reverse. So this is, I feel, happening after your separation or after your disconnect. I think this person, despite the fact that they've really hurt you because that, that's what this Queen of Cups reverse represents. Um, they know that they've hurt you. I don't think that that's... I think they're hoping that they're still successful despite what has happened, right? Um, tell me about the Nine of Cups. Now, the sun is here as well, and I'm thinking about the moon, the high priestess that keeps coming up. Um, the sun could be clarity, right? Radiance, the light shining on something that has been hidden by the shadows. So I'm going to clarify that separately. So let's start with the Nine of Cups. What does this person desire? What would bring them satisfaction? Because they have already that in mind. Tell me about the Nine of Cups. What do we need to know about this Nine of Cups? Strength, Leo energy. Tell me more about the Nine of Cups. Eight of Swords. Oh, this is a front. This is somebody putting on a front or a brave face. Um, this is somebody that is scared underneath it all or worried underneath it all, but it's like they're still going to go for it. Tell me one more for the Nine of Cups. What do we need to know about the Nine of Cups? King of Pentacles. Yeah, I feel like this is somebody that's going to be on their best behavior or at least present the best version of themselves that they can to you. This is going to take a lot of courage from them, but I feel like they're almost like faking this courage. Like they're going to put on a brave face, you know, because maybe that helps them. I think this is their biggest wish is to meet you at or be able to bring you what you've been wanting all along almost like i i know exactly what you want i'm here to give it to you there's no way that i could get rejected because my offer is so like on the nose but i think also this person is pretending to be brave pre pretending to be um because i think deep down they have some sort of insecurity tell me about the sun what do we need to know about the sun? Why is the sun here? Six of Pentacles. Why is the sun here? Wow, the Wheel of Fortune. Tell me about the sun. Knight of Cups. So this is not about radiance or shining a light. This person, this is back to the optimism. They are in the, the wheel of fortune is here. You have divine timing. Six of, Pen, of pentacles is here. Knight of cups is here. This could be an apology. The knight of cups because this person is hoping to turn things around. Um, maybe they are feeling very lucky, like um, they're, they're very, um, once again, it's like there's a confidence here. I don't understand why they're so confident. I'm starting to think that they're pretending to be confident <laughs> because they think that that's gonna at least bring them the most success. I also feel like they want things to move forward with the Wheel of Fortune, the Six of Pentacles, because they want to give you something that they hope will move things along uh, in a positive way. Tell me about the Queen of Cups reverse. Oh my god. Tell me, I think that was a death card. Tell me about the Queen of Cups reverse. Why is the Queen of Cups reverse? The moon, Pisces energy. Tell me about the Queen of Cups reverse.
Mm. This is that energy from before. Nine of Pentacles and the Moon. Six of Swords. So they have no idea how you will receive them. I feel like they think that there's a 50-50 chance you will walk away for good, Aquarius. Maybe you already walked away before and they have, there's fear, doubts that it's for good. Like the fact that you've already walked away. But I don't think they're going to present this to you. I think that it's almost like they're choosing to ignore this fear or ignore this, this energy. Because I think this energy makes them hesitate or makes them doubt themselves. I'm also picking up like maybe they're hiding their true emotions about what happened. Um, maybe they're pretending that things are okay, that they weren't as affected or that maybe they're just pretending that emotionally they're not a wreck. But I think that it's just pretending. What is this person's intention? Let's see. What are their true intentions towards you? Spirit, tell me, what is this person's true intentions towards Aquarius? What are their true intentions towards Aquarius? What are their true intentions? Their true intentions towards Aquarius. I got two. Sea Serpent and Swan. Okay, so the Sea Serpent I'm going to look up. That's a spiritual card. I think that's the card about um, like cycles, but I might be wrong about that. Let's see. Okay, healing emotional wounds and expressing desires. The Sea Serpent helps us move and direct our energy into a healthy current. We express ourselves creatively and sexually without fear or shame. We know what we desire most. We loosen the grip of self-judgment. We let the cool waters of forgiveness in to heal our wounds. No matter what the waters of our emotional lives look like, the sea serpent loves us just the same. She wraps herself around us in a gesture of protection of protection yeah interesting hmm creativity and desire healing emotional wounds well the swan is about creativity as well i know that much effortlessly create Effortless creativity, sensitive, mystic, elegant power, heightened creativity. Ready to take us there, to the fluid realm of writing, creating, and reflecting. Potent and healing energy is not to be taken for granted or taken lightly. Your soul is calling for attention for solo time. An inner voice is waiting to be heard, an inner vision likely to be revealed. So I think that this is more your person recognizing something about themselves. Maybe they're going through some sort of inner child healing or a healing journey, or perhaps the fact that this all happened between you has revealed something to this person. I feel like they're going to try to apologize and beg for forgiveness. Like, I think this is not somebody that is asking for forgiveness with strings attached. I genuinely feel like this person feels like an apology is the bare minimum and um, there will be more work to do after that. But unfortunately for this person, this is going to be up to you. Um, maybe you've already healed on your own. Maybe you're not interested in healing this connection. Maybe you are. Let me know in the comments if you're interested in healing this connection or if you're ready to see what else is out there, what what other um, path you can take in life because you have a choice to make regarding this person. That's very clear. And I think it's because you're going to come forward. Thank you so much for watching. If you enjoyed the reading, hit that like button and subscribe and I'll see you all in another video very soon. Take care.